there are two types of people one who can speak english well but become nervous during an interview the other category is that who can understand english very well but have trouble with speaking in english and it's okay because giving an interview is tough by the end of this video you will come to know how to be confident during an interview because i am going to share top 5 tips with one bonus bonus tip and if you follow these tips i promise that you can land into your dream job and you can crack your interview number 1 tip greet right how are you i am good this is the most obsolete outdated and boring kind of greetings because when the interviewer asks you how are you it he means to say how are you feeling right now so instead of saying i am fine thank you you should have to articulate what are you feeling right now for example i am doing pretty well a bit nervous though i won't lie another expression is that i am interviewing for my dream job i am doing pretty great thanks for asking and it's reality that a good greeting a right greeting would calm your nerves the calmer you are the lesser mistakes you would commit and don't try to reflect the emotions of the interviewer yes sometimes the interviewer seems to be boring distracting tired don't reflect his emotions and say that he is showing me attitude i will show him my attitude no don't do this instead of that you should have to be calm down if you keep yourself calm down i guarantee you that your interview would start responding in a positive way number 2 tip is prepare stories yes you have to prepare stories of your accomplishments and of your failures because every interviewer wants to know what you have done in your past because for him it is an indication that what will you do in future so prepare stories for that and what kind of stories award promotion accomplishments soft skills courses completed other part of preparing the stories is challenges stressful deadlines challenging clients difficult team difference in opinion gap in employment and if you are a student you can also discuss backlogs and how did you respond them for example if he asked about your weakness you can say that i struggle with my time management and i cut too close to the deadline but i have started working on it by doing post it i stick on my laptop i even organize my calendar to include the daily weekly and long term tasks to help my work better and how i accomplish this thing how i am working on my time management skills now comes the point how you can prepare your stories follow the leaders keep this thing in your mind that all the leaders are well prepared take the example of obama or steve job and do you know that steve no job made his stories on the spot 
and always respect your time by it i mean that try to practice on time because practice by this you can make yourself fluent so start on working and creating your professional stories prepare cheat cheat cheats this is number 3 tip oh no i was not a cheater in my school i want to prepare scare type cheat cheats to write down your professional stories of accomplishments and failures on these cheat cheats in bullet form because listen our memory is limited we can't remember everything especially during the interview when we are nervous so you have to prepare your cheat sheets in scare form and write down your professional stories of accomplishments and your failures because these cheat cheats just brush up just before you enter the interview room number 4 practice because there is a huge difference what you have written on your laptop and what you speak aloud through your mouth even though writing and public speaking are two different things but unfortunately these are mingled and amalgamated during an interview there are three things you can do for this you can prepare your stories or on cheat sheets and practice in front of the mirror you can often and look on the cheat sheets it's okay and you can follow seven day rule yes seven day rule and what is this seven day rule this is seven day rule that you can record your voice on the mobile phone and listen to your voice and i guarantee and i promise that on seven day your fluency would be much better than what you have begun in the very beginning and number 3 is that you can talk with your friend who is expert in english because speaking in english with a person who is an expert in english language will give you enough confidence and enough exposure to speak in english language keep the ball rolling this is fifth and the last tip to get success in an interview you need to take as many interviews as you can because look at your day to day activities or college they don't prepare you for your interview because giving an interview is a art is a skill that can only be achieved and acquired through practice let it be a bad or a good interview just give your interview and i think that 10 to 12 interviews you should have to take in order to land into your dream job now comes towards the bonus tip what is the bonus tip of today is that pause you have to adopt pauses in your speech because it makes the listener understand your thoughts in the best possible manner because interviewer doesn't want to know about the grammatical mistakes he wants to know about your skills about what you have done in your past so for landing into your dream job you have to do practice and remember one thing and the last thing giving an interview is tough but remember you are the tougher stay happy stay blessed till the next video keep watching keep sharing keep subscribing this channel thank you so much have a nice day